This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says the factors of 4x squared plus xy minus 5y squared are. So we're being asked to factor 4x squared plus xy minus 5y squared. And in order to factor this one, we're going to use what's called the AC method. Again, this is a quadratic expression. So we know 4 is A. This one that's not in, expressed in front of xy is going to be B. And this negative 5 is C. Um, the AC method says take A, multiply it by C. 4 times negative 5 is going to be negative 20. Identify B. B is positive 1. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 20 but add to positive 1. That's going to be positive 5, negative 4. Again, 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. 5 plus negative 4 is positive 1. What's more, it says take these two numbers and rewrite the middle term using both of those numbers such that you can then factor by grouping. So let's go ahead and do that. This becomes 4x squared. And I'm going to put the negative 4 first because I have a 4x squared here minus 4xy plus 5xy minus 5y squared. Now, when we factor by grouping, we focus on uh, these two at a time. So I'm going to look at 4x squared minus 4xy. Then after that, I'm going to try to factor something out of 5xy minus 5y squared. So what can I factor from 4x squared minus 4xy? Well, of course, I can factor out a 4x. This leaves me with x minus y in parentheses. And what can I factor out from uh, 5xy minus 5y squared? I can factor out a 5y. This leaves me with x minus y in parentheses. And here's our solution. It's going to be 4x plus 5y. I just combine those two things that I underline times x minus y. I just brought down one of these x minus y's that repeated itself. And that is factored. Now, I could rewrite it like this as well. x minus y times 4x plus 5y, y like so. And let's see which of these matches our answer choices. Uh, x minus y, these are x plus y. And then we have 4x plus 5y. So clearly this matches answer choice C.